What's up my Xbox peoples? It's your boy MM2K back again with another one. Here's what I did. Okay, but before I get into that, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, please. So you know when your boy's dropping these doses, okay? I appreciate all of y'all straight up. All right, so here's the deal. Here's what I did. Um, and excuse the rain noise in the background, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's very hot up here in the, in the lab today and I'm not closing this window. So here's the deal. Um, I released a video on Sunday, you know, to, to complete vaccination week. It brings into for, to light, excuse me, um, the inner workings of Microsoft and Xbox as it relates to Terry Myerson because people like to use Terry Myerson as a scapegoat. Um, I go over that over an hour and a half period of time. I'm going to leave the link to that video um, down below. It is very interesting. You want to see this in totality. But... I put forward a very interesting challenge to my Xbox friends or my Xbox friends because they're really going off the reservation. And I'm putting this challenge to them and I want to see how long it takes for them to answer this. You know, even some of my Triple B brethren <laughs> is lost up in the shuffle. So listen to the video. It's very powerful, very impactful. Put some things in the light. And if you want to see everything in totality, please click the link below where I go uh, talk about uh, Terry Myerson versus Phil Spencer versus Sachin Nadella. Peace to everybody. Y'all have a wonderful gaming day. Check out this, uh, this, this clip. Exhibit one, new Microsoft CEO, Satya Nadella, says Spencer's new multi-face role will help ensure we continue to do great things across the Xbox business and bring more of the magic of Xbox to all form factors, including tablets, PCs, and phones. That was back in March 31st, 2014. He don't get the promotion till September 19th, 2017. Minecraft was acquired the same year that he got promoted. What happened? Why so long to give him this boost and not have him report to Terry? Because he finally brought to fruition the cloud-based service and integration that Satya Nadella wanted with Xbox. And it was successful. So because it was integrated and it was successful, Terry Myerson's job was done. Terry Myerson was simply put into place to overwatch Phil Spencer. To watch the budget. Make sure they stay clean and lean and mean. Now, this is gonna be the this is the real hammer. If Phil, I mean, if if Terry Myerson was so responsible for putting Xbox in a negative light, hence that's why he was moved from being any part of Xbox, then explain this to me. After Phil was hired and get, gave him a seat at the big board's table, before the promotion, Spencer reported to Terry Myerson, the executive vice president of Windows and Devices Group. We're hearing that after this change, Spencer's gaming team will still work closely with the group, relying on its HR sales and marketing teams? <laughs> so let me get this right, Xbox. Let me get this right, Xavier Bay in the chat, damage controller. That Terry Myerson was so irreputable. He was so horrible. He was so dishonest. That, I, that they realized the, the works of Phil Spencer by himself. Even though he... So, on his own, acquired Minecraft in 2014 and get no goddamn promotion till 2017 after Game Pass was seen as a, was seen as a success. Once Game Pass was seen as a success, later that year he got his promotion. Why? Because he finally integrated with Phil. I mean, with Satya wanted him to integrate all along. That's why he got his promotion. Xavier Bay, what I need you to do then is explain to me why. And I want to see your answer in the chat. And I will actually give you a link to this to explain to me why. If, if, if Terry Myerson was so horrible to the Xbox brand and he was doing all this rogue stuff by himself, why the hell after Phil got his promotion would they still be relying on Terry's team for HR sales and marketing? 
if you have somebody that is lying about an essential brand of your company, why would you still have them handle the marketing? I want to hear you Xbox's response to that. I need to hear your answer. Hit me up. Hit me up in the chat. Do something, goddammit. It absolutely makes no sense. So was Terry, and I still got a couple more exhibits. So was Terry Myerson, the, the devil running around to different villages eating babies and kidnapping women? No. Did he really care about the Xbox brand? No. But because he was on the executive board when Satya took over, Satya was more familiar with him than he was with Phil Spencer. Satya just went to the person that he thought it made more sense to manage and monitor Xbox, which they thought was a mess at the time with all the press and the, the investments and all that other stuff. They just went to him. Uh, uh, Satya Nadella went to Terry Spencer to oversee that whole process. During Terry Myerson overseeing that whole process, yes, did Scalebound get cut? Yes. Did um, Fable get cut? What also happened? Minecraft, the biggest deal, one of the biggest deals in Xbox history was signed. I also believe that Havoc was acquired during that time. And also, Game Pass was put into fruition. Two of the biggest things that put the spotlight on Phil Spencer, which had to be approved by Terry Myerson. So I'm going to break it down to you how this Fortune 500 thing works. Sometimes you get managers that are responsible for another line of business that have to be um, uh, responsible for another line of business that they really don't care for. But they still have to do their job. So at bare minimum, are they giving a lot of effort to things, to all the little small tangibles? No. And especially in a situation like this with uh, Satya Nadella hacking and slashing and telling businesses, you got to show me why you should exist. Terry Myerson wasn't trying to see anything in the red because Satya Nadella wasn't trying to see anything in the red. Terry Myerson was not trying to see anything that wasn't cloud-based because Satya Nadella wasn't trying to see anything that wasn't cloud-based. So therefore, Microsoft had to, I mean, Xbox had to focus on that. By focusing on that, Phil Spencer got the Minecraft deal under his belt, which Terry Myerson signed off on, and they got the Game Pass integration rolling and rocking and rolling, which Terry Myerson signed off on. Period. That is it. That's how it works in a Fortune 500 company. That's how it happened here. If Terry Myerson was so goddamn rogue, again, why are they still relying on Terry's team for sales, HR, and marketing after Phil Spencer got his promotion? Stop it. Xbox, stop it. You're looking pathetic and spooky out here. 